Hello, vlog family. It is Wednesday now. Tomorrow is my last day of work, which I'm still trying to wrap my head around. It's very surreal. But today I had one of my long, well, yeah, no, one, my second longest standing request client come in, Gabby, and she came in for the last time and I was trying so hard not to cry essentially the entire shift. Miss Gabby. Hi. Oh, thank you, Gabby. Thank you. You want to be in the video? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to sit down? What you doing? Gabby was the very first request I ever had, and I've been grooming her since she was a tiny little puppy. So I've been working very hard not to cry the whole time I've groomed her today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Huh. But I got to say bye to her owners, give them a hug, and say bye to Gabby. And then I came home and we have been preparing for our family coming to visit. And not only is tomorrow my last day of work, tomorrow is also the day that all of our family gets here, which is also still blowing my mind because in my head, I keep thinking we have like a week before everybody gets here. And no, it's tomorrow. It's literally tomorrow. So we have been working on getting this place cleaned up and looking presentable because as you remember, our living room has boxes everywhere. Well, Dan this morning spent a lot of time cleaning and organizing and this is currently what our living room looks like and I'm pretty sure it's like five times bigger than I remember it. Look at all of this space. Like there's a floor there. I forgot we had a floor there. Like, look at all of that and how nice and clean that looks. I walked in and I was genuinely shocked at how open and how much room there was. I was it was amazing. The table, on the other hand, is another story. So we are getting the whole place cleaned up and ready for family to visit and hang out. Uh, Dan graduates on Saturday and that evening we're having a cookout and our family will be there, some friends. Dan just found out that his best friend growing up, Jesse, who currently lives in Indiana, is driving all the way here for his ceremony on Saturday for his graduation. So we're just waiting to hear back from him if he's going to stay long enough, potentially stay the night to then hang out for the cookout as well. So we're preparing for that. We're trying to get head counts currently. We think we have 13 people that are coming, which our little apartment that is really cramped, but it'll be okay. And we actually, you guys know we have this tiny little grill that our neighbor gave us and it's been working wonderfully for us. But with 13 people, we're planning on grilling and that little grill will not cut it for 13 people. So Dan and I went looking around because, oh, so then we were thinking, oh, the Reggies who live downstairs from us, maybe they'll let us borrow their grill. So we went downstairs to ask and come to find out they moved. So we can't use their grill because they are no longer here. So then Dan and I were like, okay, what do we want to do? So we went to the store to look at different grills to see if we could get a cheaper charcoal grill that would be usable. And we found this guy out here. So there's our little tiny one. We found this blue one at Lowe's for $50. And it has legs that can pop out and then it has a nice handle that we can carry it. And it has a really good like surface area. So we're going to use that and it was only like $50, which is not bad. That was about what I was willing to pay for another grill. So we have that. We're getting everything prepped. That's basically where we are now. Yesterday was a big like day of just checking lots of little things off of our lists of things that we need to do. And today has been really more of a relaxing day for me anyway. Dan's been very, very busy. But yeah, that's just kind of an update for right now. I'm home from work now and I'm officially done. 
at Bubbles and Bows, which is really sad. But uh, Kristen helped me get everything. Well, I got everything packed up and Kristen helped me get it into the car. And it was so sweet. I'll throw up a picture. I got to work this morning. There were all of these balloons all over my table. And then Kristen made these brownies that were just covered in car and yeah, caramel, and they were amazing. And Mary Beth bought bunt cakes, which I have some in the fridge that I brought home with me. And then she also ordered pizza for us, which I also have in the fridge some of. Here are the balloons over here, hanging out over there along with the balloon that Dan got from his work for graduation. And so we are just currently hanging out and laying down and relaxing. Dan's parents texted me and they are about four hours away. So we'll see them right around seven and seven, 7.30. And my mom and our friend Holly just landed. So we will hopefully be seeing them pretty soon too, which is very exciting. But it's just, it's good, I think for us to have just a couple minutes to kind of lay down and relax a bit. All right, we're at the school now and I'm with my mom. Look at my mom. My mom's here. <laughs> so I'm giving them the tour. We're walking around with Holly. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so we're walking around with Holly right now just to stretch our legs some and giving them the tour of Dan's school after we just had a huge meal. If I go back in the main room, I'll show you guys how much food there was because there was so much food. I have been awful with vlogging today. We are currently at the church where the baccalaureate and the actual like graduation ceremony is gonna be held. Hanging out with mom and with Holly. And they're doing very important work right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you have Dan's mom and dad over here. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> studies in Charlotte chooses one student um, that has excelled in his or her study of Greek and Hebrew and in their exegesis courses, someone who shows a lot of passion for those subjects and who has done very well in them. We're pleased this year uh, to give this award to Daniel Schuller. The person receiving the Christian Thought Award this year in many ways typifies the distinctiveness of Gordon Conwell Scarlet. She is doing her seminary studies in the midst of Some of you thought this day would never come, but by God's grace and the prayers and support of others, you are here today, and we are thankful for you. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the State of North Carolina, I confer upon you the Master of Arts degree with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto.
Daniel William Shula. Oh, happy day. Back is great for taking notes. All right, we are having a little bit of a cookout after graduation type. We have a huge feast hanging out here. <laughs> my vlog. <laughs> There's my mom getting some stuff. We have all of these people hanging out, having a great time. There's Dan. Yes. And Dan grilled so much food. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's having a great time, but he grilled. We have all of these wings, and there's four different seasonings on those. No, 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 no. All of the ribs. We have chicken. We have broths. Oh my gosh, this uh, Brazilian chicken salad. Yeah, this tastes amazing. It is so good. Yes. I told her she needs to give us the recipe. Yes, please. But I told her try first. If you like, I'll give the recipe. Yes. <laughs> but we've been having so much fun and then relaxing and just hanging out and it's been wonderful so i'm sorry i haven't vlogged a ton but it's just it's really good hanging out with these people that i love so much <laughs> all right everybody has gone home and i'm just finishing up editing this vlog and thought we would stop in one more time and say goodbye dan you are officially graduated <laughs> i think neither of us it's really sunk in yet that either one we're done with school or two we're both done with work for a while yeah we're, it, we're we're kind of in vacation brain right now because family's here so but i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog here thank you guys for coming with us uh next week's vlog we are going to the Lazy Five Ranch with family, and that's gonna be a ton of fun. I'm gonna be vlogging all of those animals, so be watching, watch out for that. And then we're gonna be prepping for the moving sale that we're doing next week. So I will also be bringing you guys all along for that. <laughs> Dan's just anticipating the vast amount of work we have to do. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you next week. Bye.